how's it going? Well, I shouldn't have to make this video, but based on some of the responses and the comments that I had to my video regarding Bill Gates, I thought I should clarify some things. All right. I am against trying to make the public become a bunch of snitches. Okay, I, I may be disappointed when there are people that go to big gatherings, but I don't think they should be... I don't think people should call the police on them. I don't think people should be arrested for it. I especially don't think people should be arrested for going to a park, especially when there's barely anyone at the park, or there's no one at the park. You know, if the park is supposedly closed and someone goes to it anyway, I don't think people should be... <laughs> I don't think poli police should be involved in that sort of thing. Um, I mean, getting people in the mindset of being comfortable spying on their neighbors, spying on different people in general, spying on Americans, yeah, I think that's messed up. Another thing is, I... I can't say I really agree with contact tracing. For a period of time, I was like, well, maybe it's not that bad if it's done via technology, but I'm just like, you know, we've, we've had enough violations of our privacy as it is. We don't need to be... We don't need to be going to those extremes. It's essentially making people uh, tell others where they're going. And then people have start having to justify why they're going to places. You know, I, I, I can't agree with that. Here in Washington State, oh, what's his name? He, he was also running for president. I can't remember the name of our governor, Inslee. He was proposing something that would require that the businesses that they start to open up would have to, you know, once they open them up, they'd be required to write down per the personal information of the customers coming in and hold on to it for 30 days. I'm like, oh, hell no. You know? Luckily, that was shot down, and uh, that's no longer in the, in the works, so... So, you know, thankfully that's, that's off the table now, so. Wow, it is really muddy. So then there's uh, HR, puff and stuff, no, HR 6666. And there's a whole bunch of rumors associated with what that's supposed to do. Most of the rumors are unsubstantiated. Where, I mean, some people are trying to say that it would force people to get tested if they test positive for the virus. They would have to be removed from the household and put under quarantine somewhere else. And it's like, well, the bill doesn't actually say that. Those are rumors that are going around it. Now, the bill is poorly worded, so, you know, and it's very vague, so I guess people could try to interpret it different ways. You know, I think it needs to be rewritten. It's probably not going to pass anyway, so... So many planes. Mainly it has to do with setting aside money for things like uh, contact tracing. And again, you know, even that, I... I can't promote contact tracing. I, I just don't think we need to be giving away where we go, why we go where we're going, who we're hanging out with. It shouldn't be anyone's business. Now let me state something about uh, vaccines and uh, Bill Gates a little bit. I understand that there are some concerns about some vaccines, but I still hold to my previous position that 
to judge a vaccine before it's even made, before it even comes out, is kind of silly to me. I don't think Bill Gates is an evil man. He's a philanthropist. He's out of touch with what everyday people go through. And I think most of the things that he does would eventually make him money in the end as well. But that doesn't mean he has bad intentions. I don't have a problem with us, you know, stemming population growth. I guess to some degree, I don't have a problem with an antinatalist kind of viewpoint. So, it's probably better that we don't create more people. We have enough people already. I guess I don't know what more to say, so thanks for watching.